coding. The coding is obviously what the website is, right? So the design makes the, the, the structure, you have it in your mind or you have it on, on paper, on, on Photoshop, Illustrator. Now the code makes it alive, you know, it goes, it goes and, and it creates this, this Frankenstein, right? It creates this website that is gonna do all the stuff that you want it to do. It's gonna work, it's gonna be online, it's gonna, it's gonna show how it should show. Everything you see on, on a website, like the color, like even like images, everything, all, all those things are a line of code. All of those things. You know, when you see something coming from the side and it, it centers on the website and it, it vanishes when you go up and it, it comes down, it comes up when, when you go down, all that stuff is JavaScript, HTML, CSS, PHP, and, and all this other crazy stuff, bootstrap, whatever, right? So this is the coding part. The coding part is what makes it real. So it makes it real. Like you had this idea, you had this, thing on your head on Photoshop now it's it's real people go to it people can actually go to it online and and it works you know so the thing about the coding is making sure it works it doesn't crashes it doesn't crash it doesn't do crazy stuff all around the place it's mobile friendly it's you know all the stuff I, I've talked about in the in the 10 things uh, that you you gotta uh, every great website has all those things are the, on the coding. If you make a good code and it doesn't crash, the contact forms work. That, that's why you, you, you need to get someone that, that knows what they're doing. And you need to, you need to spend, save some money and spend in like at least $300 uh, to get a website because if you don't, this is the part where it's gonna blow up on you. It's gonna blow on your face. It's, you're gonna be like, wow, you know, what happened here? Uh, this form doesn't work. This thing uh, doesn't show up. Like I had some text, I told them to make this little effect where it comes from the side and it shows up, it's, it, it, it glitches. You know, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So the, all this stuff is on the code. The code, if the, if, Sometimes it's the, if there's something, a little mistake, a little typo on the code, something's not gonna show, something's gonna break, all this stuff happens. So you gotta make sure that you have something, someone proficient on making code, real good co code, you know, raw, good code that is uh, solid, is not gonna break, is gonna work fluent, is gonna be fast, all this stuff, you know, like it's not redundant, all this, all these things uh, matter, matter, matter a lot. Like when you, when you have, imagine you have mistakes everywhere. The thing is gonna run slow. The thing is gonna break. The thing is gonna sometimes it's gonna give you a, a 404 error. Sometimes it's gonna do crazy stuff, right? Uh, so you know, make sure that you get someone good because that's the only. That's I think that's the only thing I can tell you about it unless you're the, 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 the developer. If you're the developer and you're making your own website, yeah, I mean, you, you, it's, it's on you 100%. You have to make sure that you know your, your craft, you know, that you're good at it. Uh, if not, uh, dude, you need to find someone good that you know knows about this, right? Because the design, maybe you already know what you want and you do want to copy a competitor because you're, you don't care about what I, what I tell you here and you still want to go and copy this competitor of yours, you, you need this guy to know what he's doing because he's, he's going to break, he's gonna break the, uh, your website. He's going to give you the website. You don't even realize what's broken in, into it. And then you start getting these calls. Hey, I'm trying to send you a contact form. And, uh, or I send you this contact form and you guys never reply to me. And you're like, what? But it should, you know, it should work. And it doesn't work because these guys they 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 don't even know what they're doing or they didn't take the time to to do it properly they did it in a rush they didn't even test it right they didn't even test the thing and then then it didn't work it didn't work because they missed something they, maybe they missed or they 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 did a typo or something like that so you gotta make sure that these people know what they're doing 
Uh, that's the biggest, the biggest advice I can give you on this process. On this part of the process is uh, make sure this guy knows what he's doing and, you, and, and he has some track uh, on doing good projects, big projects, small projects, all type of projects. And then you know for sure that the, the guy is a real deal and he's not gonna break break the, your, the website you're getting is not gonna, gonna break on you, on your customers, on, on, on your employees, all this stuff while they're, they're showing the, the customer and then they're imagining that you're, the, the, the salesman is showing the website uh, on a guy, to a guy on the, on the store. And then the thing is like 404 error. How, how, how does, what do, you, what do you think the customer is gonna, is gonna say like, oh, these this guys, poor guys, you know, they don't even know what they're doing, they, this, this is stupid, like, this is not a good business. That's, that's what they, the, the, the impression they're gonna get from you and your business. So before you, you launch the website, there's something critical you have to do, which is testing the website. Don't leave this task just for the developer. Do it yourself because, and I know, I mean, it happens, even happens to me, it happens to even the most experienced guys. Uh, you, you, you make mistakes, you're a human being, so make sure you both test it. He's gotta test it because he's, he's, he can see stuff that you don't see. And that's the part where you have to trust the guy because most of the time, and, and, and yeah, it happens, is that you as developer, you know everything. That, that's happening on the website. If you made the code, you understand, you know, it's like you, you, you know, it's like if, if you made a person, if you were able to make, make a person, that would be a website or something like that. So it's like you, you made this person, right? And you know everything, uh, he, his organs, you know, his skin, the color of his eyes, everything, you know, everything. That's how a developer should be about his website. He should know everything about the website. Like if you see, you know, like sometimes I see, I find viruses and, ha and, and people hack websites. If I made that website, I know what, what the, 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 the infected part of the website is because I, I, know, I, I, I know that code is not my code. That's how, how, how you should be accustomed to this to this website you made the website from scratch you know so if you don't understand that you're this person doesn't know what they're doing uh, then you you okay he knows you're you got a good let's say you have a, a really good guy and you trust the guy he's got experience you also should test the website test the website test everything send emails on the forms uh, watch the videos if you have videos Look how it, how the slider, the the, car, the carousel works. Look at if you have any effects. If everything works fine, try going up, going going down. Try making it smaller and smaller. Try try it in your phone. Try it on your tablet. Try it everywhere. Try everything and everywhere. You know every device you have. Uh, and then you 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 make sure that it, everything works. And then you're like, oh yeah, okay, awesome, it works. If it works like that, perfect. You know, you can go to the next step, which is launching. You launch the website and, and that would be it. But we're going, we're gonna talk about the launching part too. But the testing part is critical, done, done, skip it. If you skip it, I, can, I can't get, guarantee you, but it, it could happen that some, some stuff is not gonna work. And remember, after it's launched, that's your website. The developer is gonna, you know, he's gonna say like, dude, I'm sorry, you, you know, we tested it and I delivered the website to you and that's it. You know, if, if he's a cool guy, he might be like, oh no, yeah, don't worry, I'll fix it. Uh, I would do that. But a lot of people won't, won't do that. They wouldn't even, they wouldn't even uh, reply to your messages. They'll, they'll be gone. They'll, they'll move from town or something, you know? They're like, oh, Dude, I made this website and I screwed up and I'm gonna leave the town. I'm gonna leave town. I'm gonna, from Vegas, I'm gonna go to, 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 to Houston, to Austin, Texas, whatever, you know, and the guy's gonna be gone. You're not gonna see the, this guy anymore. He's gonna change his phone number, whatever, you know. If you, may, if you mess this up like big time and it's a big project, he might even change his phone number, whatever, you know, you don't know. I mean, who knows? 
but uh, check, check everything, make sure everything works, make sure that emails get to your email, email, email inbox, and uh, whatever else, whatever else is critical on the website, and even the stuff that is not critical on the website, check, check everything, and test it. That's the testing part. Don't skip it, okay? Launching. Launching is the last part, guys. We're done with this video. Thank you for watching. I just launched. We're done. So, see you in the next one. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Listen, launching is the last part. You already tested. You already did everything. You know the, the website, how it looks, how it works. You, 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 you did everything already. There's, there's, not, there's not much to do else. Like, there's nothing else. The, the, only, the only things I'm gonna say is that uh, you should have already a domain name from before. Your developer should have told you about this. If, if, if you didn't have one or in the planning part of it, or even, you know, before, if you already had this, uh, if you watch my video on what to do before you get a, you get a website, I uh, explained that. Uh, also the hosting, what hosting you're gonna use. I suggest you guys, again, to, to pick one at, uh, at least $8 above per month. That's gonna start being something decent. Go, go to something that is, that is well known because of, of several reasons, mostly because of, of, of the SEO. The SEO, they, they care about where your domain name is, your hosting, all this stuff. They, if, you, if you, for example, let's say you're at uh, a really good uh, domain um, hosting server company like uh, WP Engine or something, and you switch, you downgrade to something like, I don't know, it's, it's hard to, to compare and I don't wanna get into that, but if you have a really good hosting and then you downgrade, that's gonna affect your SEO. So never do that. But anyways, we're at launching, you already have your domain name, you already have your hosting. This guy is gonna go and he's gonna put everything on your hosting. He's gonna link your, your DNS domain and hosting and bang, that's it. You, the website is live. Again, and, and this is like going back a little bit, backwards a little bit, and then going forward, you test it again. You test it, you're like, okay, hold on. I know you launched it, but let me test some stuff. Because sometimes there's little things that, that when, you, when, you, when you launch the website, they don't look or they don't work the same or, or the size of some, some letters. That had happened to me before. So you, you make sure you see it and you're like, oh, hey, dude. And you tell him, hey, hey, dude, uh, this, this is not like, like when we tested, you know, it, it, it's different. So this is like the second part of the testing part, right? Or something. So you launched, you do a little bit of testing again. It should work fine. It should look almost the same or the same thing or whatever, but you make sure and you, you retest it a little bit. Okay, you know, it works fine and make sure he, he puts the, he puts the, 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 the PHP part of it and it works fine, database, all this stuff, it's dialed in and it works, it's, 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 it's all um, working fine, it's working fine and that's what you wanna see and that would be it guys. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. I will make another video, another video about what like what is the process of not the process but how you pay the developer and when you pay the developer and usually what they do uh, I'm sure a lot of people do, do it differently but I'm, I'm gonna try to cover how, like how they do it and, and, and why and explain a little bit more about that stuff so you what I want to do with these videos is inform inform you guys that don't know anything you have no idea how this works this is like alien, alien for you. You don't, you have no idea. This is like German. This is like, you know, you're trying to learn a new language or something. You have no idea about any of this, but you own a business and you know that it's critical to have a website, a good looking, working website, a great website, you know, not, not whatever website, but a great one. So I want to inform you guys. So that's what I'm trying to do with all these videos. And so you, you know, now you watch 
all these four videos that I've made so far, informative videos, and you know that you 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 get to this guy, the, the developer, and 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 you see something weird, and you don't or you don't like the guy, and you already know because you you've been watching these videos, you you've been learning with me this process, uh, what it works, what doesn't work, all this stuff, and and you're you're not gonna be misinformed, and you're you're gonna. You're gonna make. You're gonna be able to. You're gonna have the tools and knowledge to be able to make a good decision. You know, a good decision being getting at the right person, getting the right design with previous planning, getting the the getting the good code because your first your guy was good. Then the the testing. You tested the website because this this stuff. You you may think, oh, that's logical thing. That's a logical thing to do. Oh yeah, I gotta test it, man. Man, man, you're a business guy, and I'm telling you, I work with with you guys all the time, and you, you're, you're, you're not even care. You don't even care what I do. You're like, oh yeah, that's everything's gonna be fine, you know. And and it is because I do my best, and it and it works, right? And I test it and test it and test it and all this stuff. But a lot of people is not is not like me, or is not like like maybe you. You know, and they don't. Maybe they don't even care that much, or or something like that. So you want to make sure if you're already on the on the on the on the train with the guy, and it's too late to to go back because you don't like the guy anymore. At least make sure that you test everything, test everything, and you're like, hey, dude, this doesn't work. Hey, dude, this wasn't what I told you on the. This wasn't on the contract. This, 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 this. Uh, and you know, and maybe you 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 come back and you do it to me, but it's fine. I'll, I'll I don't care because I I work I work hard and I and I. I care about my customer, uh, my customer service. I this, that's the first thing for me to 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 care about on my own business. But so you you are always busy, so that's why I'm trying to inform you. At least you know some, you have some knowledge, and and the guy is gonna maybe he's gonna tell you some 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 uh, cheesy, some some iffy weird stuff, and you're gonna be like, hey, dude, uh, you know, I watched Jose Silvera, and he told me that I I would never, I should never trust. A person that tells me that he's gonna charge me a hundred dollar, a hundred dollars for a, an amazing website, or you know, or or you're gonna give me this design for five hundred dollars and the, all this and this, 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 this. If you if they over promise to you for for, you know, one thing is over deliver, one thing is, but one thing is over promise. Like yeah, dude, we're gonna we're gonna crush it. We're gonna do all this thing, and I'm just gonna charge you ten bucks. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. You know. Probably it's not true, obviously, you know? So make sure, I, I know you guys are smart, that's why you're watching me, and you're trying to learn this stuff, because you care and you don't wanna be tricked. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a great night or day. Guys and girls, take care. Thank you and God bless you, okay? Peace.